Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I want to do a little update video on that yellow jacket trap I made. And just to show you how effective this thing is. Uh, before it didn't really have, it wasn't established yet with a lot of yellow jackets. And right now we got a lot of meat in there and that stuff's starting to ferment and smell. The honeybees won't go near it. I don't think I've seen, I've been sitting here watching it for a while, I'm not seeing the first honeybee on top. And it's so uh, bad smelling it, with the rotten lunch meat in there and just a little bit of sugar water that the honeybees, you can see there's a colony underneath of it. And I monitored it for, for a long time just to make sure that no honeybees were going in it and they wasn't, they're not even going near it. But this stuff gets so bad and sour that uh, you occasionally see a honeybee come up there, but right there's one landed. But once they smell that, they, they pretty much go away. And it's really, it's just solid yellow jackets. And if there is any honeybees in there, I can assure you it's not many. Because they just do not like that smell of that rotten meat in there. It actually needs a little bit of water added to it. As you can see, they're going in by the hundreds. The yellow jacket problem is the worst I've ever seen. And we had to get some traps out. This is actually the only trap I do have. There was a, actually a honeybee that went down, but it's not many. Even if you go lose a, a couple here and there, but yeah, you can see inside the, in there, they're just a, it's inch thick of just solid yellow jackets. Wasp, also, by the hundreds. <clears throat> I mean, you, do, you don't have to put it right here this close, but it, it got so bad. See, we have a high top feeders going on right now, and they smell that sugar water, and they, they're horrible. They're just absolutely horrible. And uh, yeah, I got a veil on, because these yellow jackets are hitting me in the head, and uh, one thing I don't want my eyes shut with one of those things. Still in sandals, though. Hope they don't get between the toes. But you can see right here, it's it's getting to the point where it's where it's hard even feeding the bees, even through the high top feeder. They smell it. They smell it right through the right through the screens, and you can't you can't hide it hide them from it. So it just it just uh it's been a bad year for hive beetles yellow jackets anything like that's a negative it's really been bad this year and we got the reducers down as you can see right here uh see the yellow jackets trying to get in the entrance but we've got it closed off pretty good and there's enough honeybees in there to keep all these hives safe from the robin and they would rob it in a second but uh had some rotten apples out by my house way up there and yellow jackets are just, they're all over. So no matter where you're at, they're bad. There must be two or three nests around. I've been looking, I've not found them yet. You can come over here and look and I'm sure there's some trying to get in about every hive. Those, I don't see any right there. Some bees right there with some pollen on them. A little bit of pollen coming in. And look at the side of that trap. Uh, in case I didn't explain it very well in the first video, this right here, I may have to pick this up just for a second to show people, and some may come out, but I want you to see. See, that's all that is. See, it's just a, it's just a, like a two, this is a one liter, but you can use two liter, and it's just funneled down. And what I did, see how I cut the flanges on top? I cut, I cut the, the, the bottle long enough where I could cut flanges out that would fit down over to the side and then tape it. This this needs re-taped. And then the bees, once they, they get in there, they just pretty much fall and they smell that meat and they go after that meat. And they're trying to get out. And this is the best yellow jacket trap I've ever seen. They, there's, oh, there's probably there's gonna be there's gonna be thousands in there 
I said hundreds, but you got uh, about two inches of yellow jackets. There's a lot of yellow jackets in there. Just wanted to do that update on that video and explain it just in a little bit more detail where I didn't before. Then, the, like I said, the top of it, I just drew a line. I took this this part here after I cut the the coke bottle off, and it turned upside down. Draw the line around it, and just took a. You could take like a, a utility knife and just go around it really slow and cut it out, and that thing will fit in there really snug. And then those flanges right here, they're just cut. You just take the coke bottle on top and just cut down and pull those flanges down where they'll be over here and then tape tape around it. So that's, I want to explain that in a little bit more detail where I didn't before. And I wanted to show you how how many yellow jackets are going in this trap. They're horrible. They're absolutely horrible. I've not really, today I've went around and checked every hive, but... There seems like they're concentrated right here. Uh, and some of these lids, I'm not even going to open that lid underneath because I know the, the the original lid that was in there, I, I just changed it out there not too long ago. It had a, the, the lid was warped just slightly. Just enough of those yellow jacks to get in there and get in that feed. So that's all going to have to be changed out. Because you can, you come down through here and you can see in these hives, they're trying to get in. They're everywhere. See, even here. They're, uh, keep your reducers really low. Uh, we still get, I'm going to make a video on that too, how I come in here and I'll put, uh, wooden reducers in behind these screens where the screens can stay where they're at. So I'll do a video explaining that before too long. But anyway... I just wanted to show that to everybody. Let them see how well these traps are working. You can uh, buy these little totes, probably at the dollar store too. I got this in a Walmart. It was two or three dollars, I think. And the good thing is, like I said, and honestly, you know, I thought about cleaning it out after a couple of days, but it's really even become more attractive to the yellow jackets. And somebody wrote that in the comments, and it's true. They just, they're, uh, the older it gets, the more they're attracted to it. But that's about it. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.